Hey guys, welcome to my channel Love Beyond Labels. After Channel 3 announced the making of Lovely Writer the series, starring debutant Ab Pumpa, who appeared in Babel 250, a South Korean reality TV show, and Kao Napakao of Until We Meet Again fame, as the main lead in the drama based on the novel Nap Sip Cha Chup, written by author Wang Kling, fans are going crazy to know everything that's going on about the series. And since the trailer was released officially by the production company on their YouTube channel, the excitement to watch a smoking hot BL couple on screen has added the icing on the cake. Although the drama is set to release only next year, I would be giving away not just the spoilers but also some of the interesting snippets from the storyline. But remember guys, the makers of the show always have the liberty to make changes to the rendition if that's what is decided between them and the writers after seeking due permission. So every time a BL series is made, that's a product of an adaptation, keep in mind that the makers are bound to make changes to the storyline given that visual medium is the most powerful form of conveying a message in comparison to what's written by the authors. Also known as Dozens to Kiss, the story is about a well-established author, Jean, played by Up, who is working hard to get his novel published that belongs to the genre of dark fantasy. But since one of his previous novels from the BL genre, titled Bad Engineer, goes on to become a bestseller, most of the publishers want him to write a BL novel again. Given the massive success of his BL novel, the story is selected to be adapted into a series to which he becomes one of the casting directors given that the idea is his brainchild after all. And that's when everything changes, when he happens to meet Napsip, played by Kao, who has come to give an audition for the lead role of the bad engineer of the series, although he is discreet about his identity. I'm more than excited to watch the series not only because I've finished reading the novel, but mainly because for the very first time we'll get to see what actually goes behind making a successful BL series. Despite being a successful writer, how Jean deals with his own insecurities and unwarranted fears is what this drama is all about. And there is also a possibility of some of the viewers getting a little bit of Than type vibes from the storyline given that there is a person with a grey shade trying to separate Jean and Napsip who though are not officially dating but do have feelings for each other. Although Jean masks his feelings in front of Napsip, he is unable to hide his jealousy every time the lead actor of his story gets closer to his co-star who perhaps knows too well that Napsip and Jean are an item. Now as a BL fan, I am truly looking forward to watching this series that will give us a glimpse of the entertainment world of shooting a BL drama series. And it also goes on to show vicariously through behind the scenes that doing intimate scenes, especially for a BL drama, can be a challenging experience for a new actor in the glamour industry. Coming from director T, who helped Thaan type the series season 1, we can expect nothing but only the best. And the trailer proves exactly that. Now, I don't like to compare any BL series since I believe it would be very unfair on the part of the writers of the novel and the makers of the show. But I just couldn't stop myself from thinking about Napsiv as Thang and Jean as Tai, given that they gave me those feels while watching the trailer. The official premise of the storyline is not just about Jean developing strong feelings for Napsiv, but also realizing that he has indeed fallen for a man who chose to hide his identity while making him madly fall in love. And as the story develops, you'll get to see some emotional scenes when Jean is advised by his best friend Hin to stop dating Napsiv and when Oi purposely teases Jean about Napsip to get a reaction from him. Jean is definitely not someone whom you can convince easily, but after reading the novel, I felt really bad for him because there are certain segments where I could feel his loneliness and the inability to voice his feelings despite being quite successful. The fact that nobody understands Jean the way Napsip does, but that very same person that loves him wasn't his authentic self is what kills Jean from inside. This series also goes on to show that life is not a bed of roses. Writing a BL novel and experiencing same-sex love is different. Acting in front of the camera while playing with someone's feeling in real life is not a joke. For a young man who has not come to terms with his own sexuality, let alone his feelings for another man, it's an emotional roller coaster ride for Jean to figure out solutions all by himself. At one point in the story, I really did hate Napsip for being discreet about who he is, 
while playing hide and seek with Jean's feelings. But you shouldn't judge a story until you've reached the end, so I refrain from labeling any characters into the frame of good or bad. It surely isn't a fun journey for both Jean and Napsit. What starts innocently turns into spiraling chaos of emotional ecstasy, finally concluding at both Napsit revealing his identity and Jean accepting his own feelings. The story is new and the lead pair are seen together for the very first time. And that is enough reason for the larger BL audience to go gaga about lovely writer the series. With a fresh new cast, the makers are keeping us hooked by offering a lovely BL series which will show us filming of pretty intimate scenes by sweating the details from the novel. And I bet this series will be nothing short of a masterpiece. Thank you guys for listening to me so very patiently. Hope you enjoyed the video. Lots more awesome BL content coming up so stay tuned for more. By the way, this is my original voice and not that of a robot. Bye bye.